Thank you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> My name is Mitch, and I'm very funny. This is my um, first time in Australia, and I like coming here. Everybody is very nice. And the girls are so hot. Oh my God. I want to have sex. I like girls. I like their breasts. I like to touch them. But not only are our breasts fun to touch, they also have a very, very important function. Like, what do your breasts do, miss? <laughs> you don't know? They make milk for your babies. You should write that down, that way you're not shocked when it happens. <laughs> they call the police, my breasts are making a beverage. I wish they made milk all the time. That way if you were having sex and you got thirsty, <laughs> you could just be like, oh yeah, baby, that feels good. Which one's chocolate? <laughs> I'll marry you if you could shoot a Tim Tam out of your ass. <laughs> I will marry your Tim Tam, make it ass. People always ask me what kind of breasts I like. They're always like, what kind of breasts do you like? I like all breasts. I like big breasts and small breasts. <laughs> I do, I do. I know that most women think that guys only like big breasts because guys are always like, oh, I like them big, let's go pee on stuff. But I like small breasts, they're sexy, they have more personality. Small breasts are like, hi, can I help you with something? <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm just looking. <laughs> Big breasts are just like, we're closing in five minutes. <laughs> they don't need your business. Thanks, I'm very talented. <laughs> I like being talented because girls like me now and they go on lots of dates with me and stuff. But sometimes you go out with some weird girls. Oh my God. I was on a date with a girl. It was our first date and halfway through I started to get that feeling like we were definitely going to have sex because she had gone to the bathroom and left her drink with me. So, yeah, I was like, this is going to happen. So I'm driving back to my apartment afterwards, and I go, do you want to come up? And she goes, I'll come up, but I just want to be very clear with you. I am not going to sleep with you tonight, but I will give you oral sex. Like, that would be a problem. I don't know what she expected me to say. Maybe I should just drive you home then, for God's sakes. I've never heard such boulder dash. <laughs> she goes, are you okay with that? I was like, I'll sign up for the year plan of that. <laughs> Oral sex will never be a consolation prize. No guy is ever getting oral sex like, this is bullshit. <laughs> What's the point? I don't get the point of this. I love that oral sex. Oh my God. Every time I get oral sex, I always feel very fortunate. Even if my house just burnt down 10 minutes ago, if a girl starts giving me oral sex, I'm like, very fortunate. Unfortunately, though, girls will never just give you oral sex. They have to kiss your stomach first for like 15 minutes. 
because that makes him feel like a lady. <laughs> they have a couple extra minutes to hold on to their dignity before they <laughs> proceed to do the most vile act. <laughs> the first time God saw that, he was probably so confused. What are they doing? doesn't go there. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> That's why I put hair on it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, that's gross. <laughs> girls like getting oral sex just as much as guys do, but girls are different. Girls will never just let any guy give them oral sex. Like, I tried to give this girl oral sex. She's like, no, thank you. I don't trust you yet. <laughs> it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> what, are you scared while we're down there, we're going to steal something? <laughs> Wake up the next morning, my vulva is missing. <laughs> Someone has stolen my vulva. <laughs> but it was that shifty eye guy from last night. I <laughs> knew I shouldn't have trusted him, and now I must live vulvaless. Thank you very much, Australia. Enjoy the rest of the year. Thank you.